preservers of Arima Central, and this is our invention. I'm the captain, Vinod Lachman, and our project is called Kinetic Water, and we are using water runoff from the pool nutrition room, which was previously used to wash hands and to do dishes and cook with and purifying it. The grey water is the dirty water from the pool nutrition room. We pass through this pipe, and then we find sand. We find sand with all the heavy impurities, and enter the charcoal. Of it. Remove the acidity from it, then enter the gravel and remove the remainders of any little heavy stuff and enter the pump that pump will pump through the other tank. This is the second part of the invention. When the filtered water enters the tank, the tilapia fish that are located inside of the tank will then nitrify the water and that water can then be used to, to cultivate crops. This is the third phase of our project. After the water has gone through its nitrification processes, it is channeled through this pipe that goes to the various trough where dashing is being grown. The water is now rich in nitrates where the, the plant utilizes the nitrates and the other waste products from the fish to grow. It, it goes through further purification now where cabbage is being grown. The cabbage goes through the same processes as the dashing and then it moves along to the other thing, to the other thing. This is the fourth stage of our invention. After the plants have taken the nutrients and what they need from the water, the water passes through these pipes here and goes into a soak-away container. We use a soak-away concept and these containers are filled with, well, half filled with stones and any kind of big impurities will settle and that water will go into this tank here where you use this, this water to flush and to wash down. What gave you the idea of this project? Well, we did some research and uh, we found out uh, about a system called aquaponics concept and we wanted to play around with that concept. So we came up with this design and this project and we called it Kinetic Water, Water in Motion. Right, instituting this project, if you were to institute it on a large scale, how much water would you consume? This, this small setup right here is supposed to save around roughly 10% of, of the school water a day, roughly. How was your budget for your project? How would the budget went? The 5,000 seed was completely used up um, recently because it was enough we were able to recycle um, some material and to get some pipe from around your house and stuff like that. So we didn't go over budget, but we used up the rest of the budget due to unforeseen circumstances that we had to put together the project once more. And how do you plan to pass down this project to the lower school? We have to do some, some talks and some walk-arounds. Um, we plan to put up some more flyers. The flyers were torn down because they were painting the school. So we will put up some flyers and let them know, educate them about the project, why, why we're doing this, what's the purpose, how you all can save water and stuff like that. As the project is completed now, what are some of the economic benefits you all hope to derive from it? We hope that this could reach a bigger scale, that manufacturers can implement this kind of system in their businesses, especially like Kitchens, big kitchens, restaurants can have a can have a system like this where they can recycle the water that they use from their kitchen and grow plants and feed fish so that they can use that and can benefit them in their business. So there'll be a, a, a less, less less of a strain on the farmers in Trinidad. So yeah, so it will be to benefit them. Okay guys, so tell me how does the project differ now from when you first started? Well, everything was going according to plan, you know, the system was running, the plants were growing, everything was happening well. And we left for vacation and 
later learned, got a phone call that the system was dismantled due to the borrow inspection and the sorted unhealthy to the environment. So due to that now, we had to somehow still come back together now and put back this system together in time to see if what we can get out of it again. We had a couple of videos from other schools that entered the competition was aired. Who do you think would be your biggest competition right now? I probably would think Northeastern College. Why is that? Well, the Northeastern or probably Bishop Sunday, okay. um, from, from seeing the pictures and having them talking about their project, it seems, seems that they have a top-notch setup as well. So. Yeah, I think they will be our biggest competition. Okay, and coming out of this competition, you would have done a lot of research and gained some level of engineering experience and all these different things. What type of advice would you offer Trinidad and Tobago in terms of water conservation? Well, this project really helped us to develop as people, as teens, as students, because the research would help us because we are chemistry students, we are science students of the school. So with previous knowledge and the knowledge that we gained, it will help us in our science and help us to share the wood. And you know, and our project, this it will benefit Trinidad and Tobago. Because if our project can be implemented on a larger scale, we can somehow as a community or as as a group educate the younger generation or implement our project somewhere and we can therefore reduce the use of water in our country because 75% of the, 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 the world is water you know and only 10% out of that can be used and it's being badly used all across the world especially in Toronto.